Okay, so now you have CO2 system in your tank. Everything works great. The mist of CO2 looks beautiful. But now the question is how to measure CO2 levels in your tank. Should you increase or maybe decrease CO2 production for your tank? Let's find out how to measure CO2 levels. This is a CO2 drop checker. It's probably the easiest and best solution to measure CO2 levels in your tank. They come in many shapes and forms. Here you can see two basic types. This one will go inside your tank. And the second one is a hang-on drop checker, which obviously goes outside. But they both work based on the same principles and will give you the same results. To set them up, you're gonna need something called CO2 indicator solution. It is a type of liquid that you put inside our drop checker. It's a chemical that reacts with CO2 levels in the air. And based on the amount of CO2 dissolved in the air, it changes color. To make it work, just put a few drops of the indication solution to the part with the bubble at the end and you're ready to go. And when you are done, it more or less should look like that. Drop checker is ready, so I think we can safely put it inside our tank. You should do it carefully, because you cannot let this indication solution to go inside your tank. As you can see, the drop checker creates some kind of an air pocket. So the indication solution is not in contact directly with your tank water. This is by design and this is exactly how it should be placed. The placement of drop checker is also very important. You should not put it very close to your CO2 diffuser. This is because if the bubbles from CO2 diffuser will go under the drop checker, it will show you very misleading results. Let me explain why. You see, when CO2 is injected into the aquarium, it will gas out of the aquarium water into the airspace of the drop checker. As CO2 enters the air, it's absorbed into the indication solution. And thanks to that, the indicator can change its colors. So when the indicator solution is blue, that means your CO2 levels are low and it might be a good idea to raise them up. When it's green, your CO2 levels are perfect and you should leave it like it is. And when they are yellow, your CO2 levels are quite high and you might think about lowering them. But remember that those color changes take time and it's not like they will jump from blue to green in five minutes. After you put your drop checker in the tank, you should wait at least two to three hours before you see some changes. And this is exactly the same for the hang-on drop checker. The only difference between them is how do they physically fit into your tank. The hang-on drop checker is much more discreet and if you are, like to hide your equipment, it might be a better choice for you but it might be quite difficult to fit it in if you are having a lid on top of your tank. So remember about that. You don't have this problem with the drop checker that goes inside the tank, but the downside is that it's much more visible. And the last point to remember is that the indication solution should be changed like between two and three months. And that's pretty much it. If you want to grow healthy green plants, I strongly recommend to get yourself a CO2 system. And if you don't have the experience with CO2 levels, use a drop checker. It's very easy, very cheap solution to check if everything is fine. And if you don't want to spend a lot of money on pressurized CO2 system, just build it yourself. I created a video about this one. I will link it in the description. And that's it for now. Thank you very much for watching. If you like the video, please hit the like button. It really helps me out. See you in the next one.